Hi, today in this video, I'll show you how to implement dark mode in your Blazor web application. So, the final output will be something like this we can toggle the dark mode or light mode. So, let's get started. So, here I have created a empty new project with Blazor uh, auto render mode and the interactivity location is global. Here is the client project. Here is, uh, server project i have added a css dark mode css and here i have added two variables i have changed these two for dark mode so if i run the project let's see how it looks so this is the default look of the newly created web application now we will add a switch here uh, bootstrap switch if you search for bootstrap switches you will uh, get into this page and we will uh, copy from this part of the whole div here so I'll copy this and I will replace this about uh, link here so I paste this and I will change this level to dark mode so dark mode let's save this and see how it looks now So go to our base. Yeah, this is how it looks now. Now let's implement the dark mode. So here in main layout, I will add a code section. So code, and I'll add a boolean variable. Is dark mode. So by default, it will be false. Let's save this, and we'll add a head section here. At the top, we'll add head content, head content, and I will uh, add a condition here. If it's dark mode, then I will add this dark mode dot CSS as a style marker. So here I will add a link. Uh, it will be relation style sheet and the href will be dark mode css now let's add the functionality here so checked it will be bind to this variable and on change I'll add an event here for on chains. Let's add this function in the code. So here private void add this function name. We'll receive uh, chains event args e and here we will check if e dot values not null then we will update this value so here we will add this but this can be anything so we have to cast it to boolean and that's it let's save this and run it again now if we uh, sorry it's true why it's true so let's take it again i forgot to add add symbol here so now let's add this and run it again now if you go there it's uh, initially false if we uh, toggle it it's become dark now let's enter some css for the top bar and sidebar let's go to the dark mode.css and here i will add some css for the top bar and sidebar for dark mode now this is the style for dark mode top bar top row and another one is for sidebar 
you can adjust your CSS styles as per your need. So let's save this and run it again. We might need to uh, reload it. Well, we didn't need it. Now it's complete. So this is how you can implement dark mode in your uh, Blazor web application. So that's it for today. See you in the next video.